Hello, I'm Rob Sproul again from Salisbury Greenhouse. Today we're talking about tomatoes. We love growing tomatoes. Most people who grow edibles are growing tomatoes. And tomatoes, there's two types. There's determinant tomatoes, and they're nice and well-behaved, mild manner. They don't speak out of turn, and they grow to a certain size, and that's it. That's your patio tomatoes, your tumbler tomatoes. They're gonna yield okay. But your indeterminate tomatoes, the big vining ones that get really out of hand, they're the ones who give you lots of fruit. So this is an indeterminate tomato. This is actually a steakhouse, a new variety of tomato that yields two to three pound fruit. Monster tomatoes on this thing. But indeterminate tomatoes don't happen by themselves. They need some training. So let's talk about how to train your tomato. Uh, so basically, first step on training your tomato is to tie it. Now you see here, this is a bit of a mess. You got big things coming everywhere, so this is a bit remedial here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna identify this main stalk. See how bending it over pinched this area right here? Um, so I'm gonna identify this main stalk and I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna use soft ties. You can use this, you can use uh, some soft twine. You can use a ripped up handy hose if you like, whatever you like, just please don't use wire. The um, tomato stems are very, very vulnerable. If you use wire, you will, um, you will cut into the stem. Tie it loosely, never cinch it for the same reason, and never tie or prune when the tomato's wet. Uh, because when it's wet, if you tie it or prune it, then you're gonna open the wound and the pathogens in the water could seep right in. So, we're gonna tie it up, and then we're gonna take off some of this bottom foliage. What happens here is when you don't get enough airflow here, you get fungus. And fungal diseases, tomatoes are very prone to them. And worst, the worst fungal diseases, meaning blight. Blight is when dirt gets on the lower leaves, doesn't uh, dry up in the cool evenings, and blight will wipe out your tomato very quickly. So I'm gonna take these lower guys. I don't know if you can zoom in and look here, but I'm gonna take some of these lower branches and I am gonna cut them right off. And basically, with, with when, you're, uh, when you're pruning tomatoes, try not to use pruners because the steel might, might have pathogens on them as well. Uh, which could which could infect the uh, infected tomatoes. So try to just pinch them. So I'm going to pinch that guy. I'm going to pinch this guy. Some of these I'm pinching are fairly large. And um, if you're a tomato lover like I am, it's kind of hard to do. But it's it's essential. A tomato, you don't want a whole lot of excess growth on a tomato. You want a tomato to be a lean, mean production machine. And so you only want a few main stems. And so I'm gonna take off a lot of this lower growth and I could keep going. There you go. Basically, you wanna take off all the growth um, underneath your first cluster of flowers, okay? All the growth under that, it can all go. It's just using up resources that could be spent making you tomatoes. You see this here? This is a very good example of a sucker. So you see this is your main stem and you have a stem coming off roughly at about nine degrees. This stem is gonna be very productive. This stem is not. This is a sucker stem, all right? Sucker stems need to go. So all the, and sucker stems come on, here's another one, no small guy, okay? So a sucker stem is really just gonna take up resources and it's not gonna give you a lot of good tomatoes. As you go, when the vines get really long, if this, if this vine keeps going, then you need to get some bamboo, stick it in there, and tie it up there as you go. And you basically just give a loose tie, every six to eight inches if you need, all the way up. What you want, ideally, is to train this tomato to have about two or maybe three central, central stems with strong side stems coming off of them and that's going to give you your best bang for the buck for tomatoes.